Hello everyone, my name is Ethan Alexander, part of the Salesforce team, and we're going to focus on seven steps to mobile success. So hang on, we'll go through all the different pieces of the puzzle you might want to know about a mobile cloud. So first of all, our safe harbor statement, just be aware, anything we talk about here is just uh, to help you. In the mobile cloud, we've got a number of capabilities, specifically around the different operating systems, such as iPhone, BlackBerry, and Windows Mobile, which we all support. For today's agenda, we're going to go through how to load Salesforce Mobile on the various devices. We're going to show you how to sign up for a free trial, and especially the seven steps to mobile cloud success. These are things that our customers have told us make a big difference in what makes them successful with rolling out Salesforce and, of course, Salesforce Mobile. Lastly, I'll finish up with a quick demo on BlackBerry and iPhone to give you an idea of what this looks like for the field user, whether that's sales, service, your management team, support, or even custom applications that you're thinking of building in the cloud and deploying to your field users. Let's go through the mobile setup right now. First, you can double check that your device is supported. One of the best practices, and I'll reiterate this later, is a newer device, two years or newer. Again, for the BlackBerry, iPhone, or Windows mobile device. And for Windows, that's either touchscreen or non-touchscreen. That's just fine. To enable your users in Salesforce, it's all done in the cloud. So when you have a full mobile license, that means the full access to all the edits, customizations, and administration, you'll want to choose which of your users would be able to use that full access of Salesforce mobile. As simple as checking a box right under that mobile user. Also, if you're an unlimited edition customer, again, UE customers who are running unlimited, automatically have the ability to provision all of their field users with the full mobile customization uh, components of Salesforce mobile. If you want to use mobile light, so that is the non-administration version. So you still have access to edit, create, delete applications within the, the core objects of Salesforce accounts, contacts, opportunities, leads, dashboards, etc. Those are all still available for mobile light users, but there's not an ability to customize. In other words, which applications and which data sets are available. So two great options for your field users. But to turn on mobile light, also a very simple checkbox. And that will turn it on for your entire organization. One checkbox there. On the device installation, it's very simple. We do have a number of tools available to customers, but the direct link is mobile.salesforce.com for BlackBerry and Windows device users. Of course, we have additional ways to roll out to your field teams. Reach out to your AE, and they can provide the BEZ push. So if you're running a BlackBerry Enterprise server, easy to push that out to all of your BlackBerry users with one push of a button. And that's a very simple download that you're able to do with your BEZ administrator. So after your users load the Salesforce mobile application, they will just enable those checkboxes, and then sign in as simple as using your Salesforce credentials and typing that into the Windows device or, for example here, the BlackBerry user. After that, you are good to go. So your data, accounts, contacts, opportunities, etc. will be available to your field users and also, it's a very smart client. In other words, it will learn from your field users, depending on what they're searching for on their device or what they're opening online. So maybe from their computer, they open an account, a related contact, a related event. Those will automatically be pushed to your field users. A great way to really build that data set for your field teams. iPhone, very similar. Just go right into the App Store on iTunes and search for Salesforce Mobile. Similarly, download the application and sign in with your Salesforce credentials. Actually, one thing I didn't mention on the BlackBerry, which is true as well on the iPhone, is we encourage and also require a five-digit security code. This is to enable your users to remember a code as opposed to having to retype their Salesforce passwords. You can always change this or adjust the timeouts that are required for the mobile device as the administrator can warrant. So that can be determined by your security requirements. And after that, you are good to go. Just like in the BlackBerry, your data will now be updated seamlessly in the background automatically so you don't need to push a synchronization button you don't need to have to wait for updates to occur because these updates are communicating with Salesforce and your field users throughout the day and throughout the week always keeping them informed so you can see a good little snapshot there of the various applications to be used to in addition to custom applications I said that earlier but again this is not just for your core field sales needs like accounts, contacts, opportunities, but any customizations you might want to do as well. Again, that does require the full Salesforce mobile application. 
So let's show you the following three things, the free trial, how to sign up. I'll also point you to a great document that we have online. You can just Google it, Seven Steps to Mobile Success, and then we'll go into a couple device demos. Let's show you that now. So here we are on our mobile light page, a great place to start. And you can see over in the right hand side here, free version of Salesforce mobile. You can also do this from your mobile device, download it to your Blackberry, to your iPhone, and you can start a trial right from your mobile device as well. So whichever is easier for you. And you can also see additional information here from mobile light. A great document is to Google seven key successes to Salesforce mobile. And you can see the link right here on our blog, Seven Keys to Mobile Success. Let me go ahead and show you what that document looks like. And there we go, Seven Keys to Mobile Success. So as I mentioned earlier, we do prefer using newer devices. So two years old or newer are highly recommended. Secondly, get a good idea of what your mobiles want to use. Give an idea of what is important to them for their accounts, their contacts, their logging of phone calls and emails to get a good idea of what they'll use out in their mobile environment. Number three, very important, less is more. Less data on the device gives them actually what they need to work day to day. They're not really gonna be disconnected on weeks on end for the most part. So again, this application will update itself as it goes through the day, keeping your users always relevant information on their device. So have an idea of exactly what they need. The updates will automatically flow. Very, very intuitive. Train your users. Give them a good idea of what you want them to do on the device. Maybe think of the top seven things you want your field users, whether they're management team, sales team, support, service. Give them an idea of what it looks like. We do have free simulators available. You can run Salesforce Mobile, just like I'm going to show you here in a couple of seconds, what it looks like. Load your own org on there, run a trial, run a test, train your users. Number five, make sure you're using the right version. I mentioned Mobile Lite or the full version of Mobile. So when you're talking to your field users, have an idea if they just need to interact with the core applications, let's say accounts, contacts, opportunities, et cetera, or they want that custom application or that app exchange application that's running in the cloud. No problem. The answer is start simple if you want with mobile light and then start adding your users onto that full mobile version. It's a great way to get them started. Scrolling down here, be sure to work with your IT department. As I mentioned earlier, there's a great tool that we offer for Bez Push, BlackBerry Enterprise Server Push, of our Salesforce mobile application. You can load it on your Bez, push one button. All of your users now have Salesforce mobile on their BlackBerry devices. A great way to make this happen quickly, but it's also an important thing. Keep your IT department involved so you have an idea of what should and should not be on those devices. Number seven, a lot of resources are available. Your business will evolve, and so will our mobile product. There's a lot of things that are changing constantly, and it's a great way to stay up to date with our mobile cloud, our getting started videos, our community page, our blog, and even added devices as they come onto the market. We're doing our best to stay right in front of you, our customer, and keep you successful. So let's show you what this looks like now. Let's first go to my BlackBerry here. I've already just signed into my Salesforce mobile application. Again, this is an application that runs locally on my device. It works online or offline, so I can use this on an airplane. Or if I'm in a back corner of a building that just has no wireless signal, not a problem. In other words, my mobile goes with me anywhere I need to be. Across the top, you can see all my different applications. And in this example, I'm running Mobile Lite, so I have free access to my events, my leads, my accounts, which you can see detailed below, contacts, my opportunities, cases, solutions, Dashboards, those are always great for the management team or the sales team. I've also got different training tools available just from Salesforce Mobile for free. And I can also run reports here on my mobile device. Scrolling down, this is my search box. This search not only will run a search within the object I'm highlighting, or if I do that from the home screen, that search will run all across the application. So it'll look in accounts, contacts, leads, events, but it will look on my device, the data I have locally, and also in Salesforce. So it will actually go to the cloud and pull down any relevant searches that match that. So a good idea, search within the application you're looking for. Like if I'm looking for a specific account, just look within that accounts. And I'll just actually type one in in a second here. But before I do that, we've also got mobile views. So this is where I can see all accounts, my accounts, or custom views that you might have in Salesforce. So if I want to run a search, I can actually do the search in the search box. Or one of the best practices, go to your filter. 
So you can actually start to filter on this component right here. Whoops, I opened that one up a little quickly. There we go. So I can bring up edge communications. Let me go ahead and scroll down. I can see different details about this organization. I can see addresses, phone numbers. Actually, do you know that we have Google Maps enabled on Salesforce Mobile? So you can do a couple of great things. You can actually map the location and it'll bring that right up. So it'll give you driving directions to the billing address or the shipping address or that location for that account or contact. Similarly, you can also check activity history. So if you want to review every phone call, meeting, communication that has happened with this account, you can do that from the office, from the road, or when you're sitting with that customer. What a great tool to have right at your side. I can also log phone calls and log emails. So if I want to call this organization, I can hit the call and I can actually choose to call that account number. Now go ahead and hang on to that for a second. I'm going to bring up one of my contacts because I want to call a specific contact. Let me scroll down here. And you can see I have related information at the very bottom. Related tasks, related opportunities, related contacts. Let me go into that one. Whoops, there we go, scrolling. There's Sean Forbes, who I have that meeting with today. If I want to give him a call, I can see, first of all, related information to him. There's my call. Choose his mobile number. Make that phone call. Let me hang that call up. And the great thing is from Salesforce Mobile, right when I'm done, it's going to ask me to log that phone call. The same is true for emails. I can actually send an email to Sean Forbes and it will ask me to log that email right into Salesforce. What a great way to capture data when you're in the field. So let me actually just type in a quick one. I'll log it as a task. Phone call. And if you want, you can even relate it to an account, a case, an opportunity. Let me actually relate that to the account. There it is. And then meeting about mobile. Go ahead and hit save. And again, I can do this completely offline if I needed to. It will still capture that record and it will send it the moment it finds wireless signal. And that will take basically about one to two seconds if there is wireless coverage available. Go ahead and back up here. And actually, we'll move across. Let me show you one more thing here on my BlackBerry before we move on to the iPhone. My dashboard. So again, you have access to all of your dashboards right here on your mobile client. And as you can see, I've got it up to date right now. So I can scroll through and I can see our lead flow, our marketing, our lead sources, etc. on down the line. It's a great way to stay in touch with what's going on day to day for all of your field team. And again, this is all free. This is mobile light gives you a lot of capability to edit, create. Let's say if I want to add a new contact, add a new lead, or edit an opportunity and upgrade that or close it out. You can do all that from the free version of Mobile Lite. Now let's go ahead and move over to my iPhone for a second. There's my iPhone. Let me enter in my passcode. Let me actually move the BlackBerry over. Bear with me a second here. There we go. We can put them a little bit side by side. You can have a little comparison. And I'm right where I left off for my iPhone. So here you can see at the bottom, opportunities, all my accounts, same, dashboards. Let me actually switch to one of my other dashboards here because you have the ability to view all of your dashboards. Go to my executive dashboard and you will see it will dynamically change that right from Salesforce, right from the cloud. So a great way to have an idea of what's going on in your environment. I also have a list of all of my contacts. What I'm doing here differently is I have additional custom applications. So you can see here I've got proximity, approvals, trigger tests. These are custom applications that I've built into the cloud and I've enabled for my field users. So for example, if I want to see a proximity search, I can actually locate contacts that are in my geographic area thanks to my GPS on my BlackBerry or on my iPhone. You can do this on either device. And this is actually a free app that you can find on our App Exchange, another great resource for your mobile users. So when I find that contact, I can give them a call just as I did earlier, or you can just kind of scroll through and search for different things. So if I want to search for Edge like I did earlier, it'll bring up the Edge communications, and it's still continuing that search in Salesforce. So if anything different comes up, it'll bring up that result for me. But that's exactly what I'm looking for, a little different UI. That was a very quick move, wasn't it? So let me scroll back up a little bit here. Pardon me there, I'll hit that one more time. And I can see a couple of great things like I saw on my BlackBerry, like the phone numbers, the addresses, 
And I can also do that same Google Maps drive to directions. So you can see if you want to come see us here in San Francisco, get those drive to directions and you're on your way. When you get there, right back into Salesforce and you're exactly where you left off at that same record. You can also see that I've got Yahoo Finance enabled for here. So if I want to see different mobile feeds or, I'm sorry, business feeds on my mobile device, I can see that as well. So it's a great way to get information before you walk into a meeting. And then down here at the bottom, see those same related lists, related contacts, related opportunities, example, um, all the way across the board there. So just so for relevance, I have a few additional contacts that I own here on my iPhone, a different user, but I can still see that same data. I can see the individual, I can call them and log that phone call in Salesforce. I can do the same meetings and notes, and then I can see additional information about this individual, like collateral requests or marketing activities they have been a part of. But I can also edit the information. Maybe if I want to do adjust the description, you know, add in that, you know, this is a decision maker. So you can do all types of edits and saves. And then look at the very top here, you'll actually get an idea of when that actually goes through. Change is pending, confirmed. It is now in Salesforce. So edit, create, updates, any type of information that you want your field users to use, you can do it with a free version of Mobile Lite or the full version of Salesforce Mobile will allows you for all administration and all customizations that you'd ever like to put on the, the board here. So one of the other examples I showed you is Visual Force, a great use of Visual Force applications here. So let your mind go to the clouds and let your field users be productive because that's really what we're trying to help out here. Thank you very much.